Good morning. Welcome to our midweek devotional coming from All God's Creatures, published by Guideposts. Our author for today is Diane Stark, and the scripture she has chosen is Nahum chapter 1, verse 7. The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. The title of her devotion for today is Known and Loved, and she writes, Last winter, my cat Tigger started acting strangely. When I tried to rub his favorite spot behind his ears, he pulled away and meowed. He stared into my eyes and meowed loudly. He was usually a quiet cat, so I knew he was trying to tell me something. Despite having no other symptoms of being ill, his odd behavior convinced me that something was wrong. My husband thought it was silly to take a cat to the vet simply because he was acting weird. But I was convinced Tigger needed help. It's a good thing because he was suffering from a urinary blockage, a life-threatening condition if it's not detected early enough. The vet cleared the blockage and put Tigger on a special diet, but he cautioned me that this problem often recurs. A few days ago, Tigger climbed into my lap and meowed in my face just as he had before. I was sure he had another blockage, which a trip to the vet confirmed. My husband couldn't believe how easily I was able to interpret Tigger's behavior. When you love someone, you know what's normal for them, I said. You know their struggles, so it's easy to figure out when something's wrong. What's hotter is knowing how to help them. The next day, a friend accidentally hurt my feelings, but I pretended things were fine. My friend never knew that I was upset, but I can't hide my hurt or pretend with God. He reads my behavior even more easily than I can read Tigger's. As my Heavenly Father, He knows everything about me. He knows when I'm upset and struggling with something. He knows my weaknesses, those recurring problems that are always there, even when I try to pretend that I'm fine. Insecurity, fear, self-doubt, I can't hide it from Him. God already knows my struggles, but climbing up into his lap to tell him about it never fails to comfort me. And best of all, he always knows how to help. Let us pray. God, thank you for knowing me inside and out. Amen. Thanks for joining me. I hope you'll join me again next week and also for our worship service at 11 on Sunday, either in person or on our YouTube channel. Have a great week.